Hey guys, it's Bernard. Welcome back and today I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to prepare your cookie dough. So let's get rolling. We're going to get started now. I'm going to talk for just a second about um, some of the utensils and surfaces you should use when you're rolling out your cookie dough. So um, you really want to make sure that you have as non-porous a work surface as possible. Um, you can use a Formica countertop or if you have a stone countertop that works great. Um, at home I have a stainless steel work table I use. Here in the studio we have a, kind of a butcher block top which will work just fine. So there are several different types of rolling pins. Uh, most of you are probably used to the traditional uh, rolling pin, wooden rolling pin that has uh, kind of a ball bearing in it. It allows the pin to roll while the handles don't. Uh, my favorite is a marble rolling pin. I think it's nice because it keeps cool when it's rolling out the dough. So that's my favorite. Um, it's a little heavy and plus it does some of the work for you. So that's one of my favorites. So we're back and we're going to roll out the cookie dough. As I taught you in the very first basics episode of making your cookie dough. I like to put my dough and refrigerate it in a Ziploc bag. It keeps it nice and fresh. Okay, so we have our chunk of dough and it's a little bit stiff. So you're gonna wanna knead it a little bit. This um, goes back to the why I like to add a little bit of shortening in the dough so that it's not all totally butter. When it's completely all butter, it's just harder to roll out and to knead into a pliable mass. So I've flattened it out into a nice shaped disc, like so. Then next, um, flour. So we're gonna sprinkle a little bit on the work surface, then a little bit on the dough. You wanna be careful not to add too much flour because that's gonna make a tough, dry cookie. So we're gonna work with as little bit of flour as possible. And gently work the dough. Avoid going back and forth real quickly a lot. That's gonna again make a tough cookie. The next thing you wanna make sure is that the dough is not sticking. So you can tell the dough is starting to stick. So I'm gonna peel it up and just kind of push some of that flour and make sure that there's flour under the top and then make sure there's a tiny bit on the upper surface of the uh, dough so that it doesn't tear. About a quarter to an inch to an eighth of an inch um, thickness in the dough. Once your cookies are cut out of the dough, you have this the extra scraps of cookie dough left. So just gather these up. Do not re-roll the scraps. What I do is I go back to my bag of cookie dough out of the fridge so it's nice and cold still. I break off another bit of fresh dough. Again, work this dough till it's pliable. Then we're gonna add the scraps back into the new dough. This keeps the dough nice and cold because you're adding the cold dough from the fridge to these scraps. Do the flour again, roll out, keep doing that. At the very end, when you're all finished with your cookies, don't put those scraps back into the fresh dough. Those don't keep very well in the fridge. Your cookie dough, the fresh cookie dough will. So I just take those cookie scraps and I kind of mash them together and, and flatten them out, cut them into random pieces, throw some sugar on the top and bake those off. And those are great to give your kids or your helpers while you're working on the cookies. So that's what I have for you today. I hope you have learned something new in this episode. Please like and subscribe and also leave me your comments if you have some great tips or tricks on how you roll out your cookie dough. Thanks for joining me today. I'm gonna show you my sugar cookie recipe that I have worked on over the years that I think makes the best sugar cookie to decorate on, uh, tastes really good.